Hi there. In this video we're going to take a look at drawing and interpreting frequency diagrams and polygons. A couple of things you should know. First of all, a frequency diagram is used to display continuous data with equal class widths. And also, frequency diagrams are just like bar charts, but they have no gaps. So let's take a look at an example. So here we have 50 people who are asked how long they wait for a train and we have a frequency table displaying the data. And I'm asked to draw a frequency diagram to display it. So let's go over to our graph and I'm going to start to draw a frequency diagram. So it tells me between 5 and 10 there was a frequency of 6. So I'm going to start to draw a bar in between 5 and 10 and let's go up as far as 16. So on we go up as far as 16 and this up as far as 16, draw across and we have our first bar. Next bar is going to be between 10 and 15 and go up as far as 22. So up as far as 22 and so on through the data that we're given. When you've drawn in all your bars, you should have something like this. And that's all there is to it. That's how you draw a frequency diagram. So we've got a couple of questions for you to try. If you've printed off the sheets, you'll see that you can uh, just draw them onto your graphs. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at those. Let me just show you the solutions. That's our first one. And this is our second one. Right, what about interpreting frequency diagrams? What kind of questions could we be asked? Well, a possible question here is, I could be asked what the modal class is. The modal class is going to be the bar that has the highest frequency. So the modal class is here. So between 30 and 40 is my modal class. So we were talking about age here. The modal class will be the 30 less than or equal to a less than 40. I could also be asked what the median class is. In order to get the median, I need to work out how many pieces of data there are in total. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the frequency of all the bars together. This one is 25. This one is 30. This one is 18 and this one here is 9. So adding these all together, 25 and 30 is 55, 65, 73, 82. So we got 82 in total, which means the, m the middle value is going to be at 41. Where does that happen? Well, I've got 25 pieces of data up to this point, plus another 30 would give me 55 in a cumulative frequency, so working our way across. So that means the 41st piece of data is in here somewhere. So that would be my median class. So the median class is 30 less than or equal to A less than 40. Another type of question we could be asked is what's the maximum age possible? It's 60, so it would be the final resting place of the bar, the last bar. So 60 would be the maximum possible age. And the minimum age would be 20, so the first bar. We could also work out the range of ages. It would be the highest, take away the lowest. So 60, take away 20, would tell me the age range would be 40. So there's just a few questions we could be asked when interpreting frequency diagrams. Okay, a few questions for you to try. Pause the video, see if you can work out what the modal class, median class, max age, mean age, and the age range is. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at that. Here are your solutions so you can mark your work. Let's take a look at frequency polygons now. So frequency polygons 
is just another way of displaying data that's continuous and has equal class widths and it basically what it does is it connects the midpoints of all the class intervals by straight lines so let's take a look at our first example again so we had the 50 people waiting for a train and there's our frequency table and we're asked to draw a frequency polygon so we'll go to our graph and I want the midpoint of each class interval the midpoint of this class interval is going to be 7.5 so 7.5 is here and it's going to be 16 in frequency frequency always goes on this axis here so 7.5 and 16 I'll put a little cross there 12.5 now is the, is the midpoint of this class interval so I'll go to 12.5 and up as high as 22 uh, 17.5 and 11 so 17.5 and 11 is here and 22.5 and 1 so 22.5 and 1 is right here so I've got all my midpoints plotted and all I'm going to do is I'm going to connect these midpoints using straight lines so join up the dots join them all together mm. things are going a little bit slow here let's try that again so that will connect with that and this one should connect to here okay let's just confirm that that was the correct answer there we have it there there's our frequency polygon and that's all there is to it so using the midpoints of all the class intervals and joining them all up using straight lines so here are some questions for you to try if you printed off the sheets just fill in the answers so pause the video and have a go at these okay hopefully you've had a go at these let's have a look and see what the solutions were so that's the first question solution is there and the second question the solution is here one other possible thing we could be asked to do is to use a frequency polygon and estimate the median now if you've watched the video on how to estimate the median uh, working out the median from a table it's just like that but we won't be given the table so suppose we don't have the table here to estimate the median I'm going to do the midpoint times by the frequency so in this case it will be 7.5 times by 8 midpoint times frequency so 12.5 times by 30 midpoint times frequency midpoint times frequency add them all together and then divide by the total frequency so if you can manage it with a table it's just the same method but you won't be given a table you just have to take your values from the frequency polygon that's all from me hopefully you found the video useful um, best of luck with revision and take it easy I'll talk to you again sometime